Roy Blunt has represented the state of Missouri in the U.S. Senate since 2011, and before that served in the House of Representatives, representing Missouri's 7th District from 1997 to 2010. As a member of first the House and then the Senate Republican leadership teams, Blunt has predictably been willing to go along with the establishment on supporting big government spending more often than not. He supported No Child Left Behind, Medicare Part D, and the TARP Wall Street bailout, among other large programs. He routinely supports the omnibus spending bills that keep enabling the rapid growth of government, and he opposed using the debt ceiling as leverage to defund Obamacare in 2013. In total, he's voted to raise the debt ceiling eight times for a total of nearly $7 trillion. A member of the powerful Appropriations Committee, Senator Blunt has been a vocal opponent of eliminating earmarks and has demonstrated consistent support for cronious deals between government and big business. He voted for an internet sales tax that would burden online startups, but was championed by large national retailers. He opposed ending the Export-Import Bank, a program that gives taxpayer-backed loans to giant corporations. Representing an agriculture-heavy state, Blunt has predictably resisted efforts to reform the bloated farm subsidies and has voted to enable the unchecked growth of food stamp programs. There are few areas in which Roy Blunt has taken consistently conservative positions. He has been a staunch defender of life and religious freedom, and has been good overall on defending the Second Amendment. He has also been a vocal opponent of the EPA's damaging regulations, and has secured votes on resolutions condemning the idea of a carbon tax. Blunt's overall record, however, does not make up for his continued willingness to support more spending, more debt, and more government intervention in the market. Taken as a whole, Roy Blunt's voting record has earned him a solid F on conservative review's Liberty Scorecard.